What's up guys? Just wanted to do another video. Uh, I got a lot of requests that were wondering how I set up my videos and do my recordings and things like that. So I'll give you a little preview of my setup. So I got my stack of games right here. Um, I record off, I use this Xbox here. Uh, this Xbox over here is broken. And I have the Hop Hodge HD PVR as you can see. So this is used to record the gameplay. Um, and I won't go into too many details on how the setup is, because you can see some other videos on there. But basically the video is going to go with the component cable. It's going to go from here to the back of the TV. And then your Xbox, uh, you know, it's going to hook, get hooked up that way. So everything runs through this. So when you want to record, you always have to hit the power button and then turn the Xbox on uh, when you're ready to record. So, and then, I don't have anything fancy, just got the, uh, an old school Logitech MX18, or 518 I should say, mouse that I've had for a couple years, but it's 1600 DPI, so I like to still use that. Um, I don't know what size screen I have, but it's, it's pretty big, so I like it. And then, of course I have the Blue Yeti right here, and I do all the voiceovers and things like that with that. Up top I have just a uh, Logitech uh, webcam. And then of course over here I have my other screen that I keep all uh, the recording things on. And then uh, that way I can kind of see where the time's at and things like that right over there. And then I kind of mix it all up in a couple other programs. Uh, one, Vegas, and then two, I usually do a couple different things for the audio. So I'll show that to you guys here in a few. Um, also, I wanted to capture... This is the uh, X-Jacker. So this hooks up to the back of the uh, Xbox, and then you can plug in your headset that way. And I like to do that. That way there's... Uh, you know, the sound you can play through your headphones if you want to do that rather than the TV settings. So I have that. Uh, computer is right there. I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty dark in this room. Uh, but it's nothing special right now. I have my current stuff that I'm going to be building here pretty soon. So I have 8 gigs of RAM. And then I have a new AMD uh, FX chip. It's the 4100. So that'll be a new, a new build. I'm just waiting for my motherboard to come in. And then, also I just wanted to say thank you, uh, I know I only have 35 subscribers, but to me that's a lot, so I just wanted to say thank you again for that. And I will be mixing this video into the computer part that I'll be recording to show you exactly uh, how I mix things up, so that that way, hopefully that'll kind of help out. And I'll see you guys soon. Welcome back guys, in the other video I had... I kind of gave you a little setup of my, a view of my setup, I should say, as far as how I record with the Hop Hodge HD DVR, PVR, I should say. So now we're going to do the uh, recording part, or I'm going to go over the, how I edit my videos. So first thing, I, I kind of made a uh, YouTube programs file. It seems to be easier to keep everything in, but I went ahead and, and have uh, Sony Vegas uploaded. I'm using 10 Pro. You can use 9. Um, I haven't used 8 at all, but 9, se 9 and 10 seem to be the best ones that I, I can uh, have found and that works well. So I don't know if you've played around in Sony Vegas, Vegas at all, um, but really you get your preview window here um, and then you'll see the stuff down below here once we import a video. So you're going to want to um, import a video and I'm going to include a link to uh, Optic um, that did some settings for Sony Vegas so just follow those settings it's the exact same thing that I did for mine um, but at least you guys can see what we're actually doing so we'll pick a video that I haven't rendered yet most of these are already up on YouTube but we'll go ahead and just pick one for for giggles so we'll pick up this one right here and we'll just click open and what it what it'll do is it actually builds out the video part and the audio part um, so 
the first thing I usually do is I come over here to this little box and I click on that and what it does is it shows the view of where it's at uh, as far as the cropping is concerned. So I have a default that's set to YouTube and basically all I did is I clicked the corner and you can drag it in or drag it out. Um, basically you want to dra drag it in just a little bit so that you get rid of that line in between. Um, and then go ahead and hit close and then we're gonna right click on the video part and go to properties and then we're gonna uncheck maintain aspect ratio we're gonna click on reduce interlace flicker and we're going to disable resample and what that does is it makes it a lot easier and it doesn't tax your uh, computer so hard is my understanding of it so that's what I always do every single time I start rendering a video and I click OK and so you can actually make this screen size smaller, bigger, whatever you want to do. Um, and this is the timeline of your whole part. You can um, mute that. So when you play it, it's just doing the audio. I mean, just excuse me, just doing the video. Um, you can go in and let's just say you didn't like uh, loading screens. So let's just say we wanted to get rid of this stuff right here. We can end up splitting the video out so that all of this stuff is gone, um, which I can show in a later video if you guys need me to do that. But pretty much that'll take care of this. Now, if you want to uh, do voiceover stuff, like if you're, if you're not recording, you have a couple different options. So um, one thing I didn't load was Audacity. So I'll load that now, and I'll bring that up. Um, basically, you have a couple different options. You can. Some people like to record in, uh, in Audacity, and it's a little bit easier for them. I find so far that it was kind of a pain to record in that just because it didn't want to sync up very well for me um, but you can go in here and uh, like have your microphone selected um, you can play around with different things like that um, it's really easy to use all you have to do is hit record it'll start going a lot of people say use record and then let it like go for at least three four seconds before they start recording and then you just hit stop when you're done and then you can play it back and then you can uh, import that file um, so you can import that file here by right clicking and going insert audio track and I might have one still around so let's check it out there's one of them I don't know if this goes along with this one or not so let's just choose that for right now and it'll build it out so you can actually move it around if you didn't want the audio your recordings to start until midway through, you can do that. Um, you can turn down the game volume, which is something that I normally do uh, if I'm when I'm making mine. So I usually turn this up to like at least two, and I turn this down to somewhere around I don't know. Some it depends on the game. Like this game is pretty loud, so you're you're gonna want to turn it down. Uh, probably about I don't know. It's kind of tough. Maybe. We'll just leave it at 6, 7. But I'll give you a little taste of it and see that way you can kind of tell. But What's up, guys? Doing another video for Darksiders. So you, so you can hear my voice um, as well. So basically that's where that's at. And if, let's just say you didn't want to do that. You can hit delete. And you go over here and right click and say remove from project. Now let's say you you are one of the people that want to do your videos, uh, but don't record your voice live. Let's just, so you, let's just say you wanted to go through this whole video and then make your comments afterwards. You can easily do that. Um, all you're going to do is the same thing: right click, 
go to insert audio track and then you're gonna hit this little button right here that says arm for record and then we'll just leave it in documents and then see how you can tell the mic is moving this way it's picking up everything right now and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this little button right here and it's gonna start recording your voice over this whole area right here and it'll start playing why it's doing that it'll start playing your video which you'll see up here and then when you're done doing that all you need to do is click this and it'll give you a little prompt window that says uh, you know what you want to name it um, and then you can just drag it in here and, or it'll automatically populate I should say and then you should uh, be able to uh, listen to the whole thing uh, what I usually do is I listen to it um, I go through and if I die which lately it seems like it's happening a lot let's just say I wanted to cut this out um, you, all you have to do is hit S and then go to where you want to hit and then hit S again and then it'll split that video section out and you can just right click on it and you can go to delete when it because it'll it'll separate it and then all you have to do is just click this and drag it over um, so that it matches uh, another th cool thing is I'll show you too is so let's just say we already have these up here um, and I want to you want to add your intro in so I'll go grab my intro we'll use my new intro which I'll put uh, link to as well so sometimes it'll actually show um, over there but I usually will drag it in and then I do the same sort of thing as I right click on it go to properties um, we'll do all the same thing that we did before and then we'll just you just left click and you can drag the file and see how it matches it up right there and if all goes well we should be able to test it out in a second but I don't know why it went twice so let's check it out and see if it went well See? So you are good. That kind of gives you, you know, and if you want to add pictures in here, um, you can add pictures at any time. I don't know what I have on here. So um, don't make fun of that. I was making a spoof video. So let's just take Charlie Sheen. Let's just say we want to have him show up. I don't know. Right here then as soon as we get to that point and let's play it it'll cut to your picture so obviously I would want Charlie Sheen in there uh, right now nothing against Charlie Sheen so anyways that kinda gives you an idea of uh, basically how to do your stuff so once you're done with that um, I go to file, render as, I can't look at Charlie's face right now, um, remove from project, yes, alright, so you're going to go file, render as, name it whatever you want, I record in Windows Media Volume, uh, or video I should say, and you can name your template whatever you want, and that kind of gives the uh, basics, and you just I have an older computer, so usually a 15-minute video will run. Usually takes about an hour and a half for me. Uh, I'm running on Windows 7 64-bit with uh, 4 gigs of RAM, but on a quad-core processor, one of the very first ones. So that's why I had my new product out that I was showing since I'm doing a new build. But really, that's all you have to do um, is go to Render As, go to Save, wherever you're saving it as, this can save in my videos. I have a, an external hard drive, so I usually um, will re will send everything to here, and that kind of basically takes it all up. I mean, that's generally all I do. Again, I'll send a update for the settings. Um, oh, one other thing is 
is uh, I forgot to say is you're gonna want to go to the track FX. Um, you can play with a bunch of different stuff here, um, but I usually go do the sharpen and saturation, color corrector, and brightness and contrast, and then click OK. And I, I, I'll, like I said, I'll include the video where I got all these settings from, but go to sharpen, um, there's a predator setting, and, and the video that I'm going to send you to kind of explains that, but basically he's the person who thought of, who came up with these settings, so I do not take any credit for doing that at all. Um, sometimes for color correcting, um, so I'll do his stuff for that. Saturation, I kind of actually, I've been using reduced oversaturated colors recently that seems to be working out a little bit better um, but there's a HD setting um, that's made for kinda uh, I believe it was outdoor stuff um, but I use the predator setting because it seems to lighten things up a little bit you can actually uh, I'll show you move this over to the side um, but you can actually click and you can kind of see the difference is it's a little bit darker right now um, or you can do this one which kind of lightens it up but you're gonna to want to do that before you render so I forgot that step earlier uh, again it's just right over here traffic track FX and then all you gotta do is go file and then render as and you're good to go so hopefully that helped you out um, a little bit uh, as far as what you're actually going to need so as long as you have something to render your your videos you're good to go get a some sort of um, recording device so i know that there's a bunch of different ones the elgato is apparently the newer one it's still pretty pricey but it's all hdmi cables and it's really portable so that makes it a lot better of course they didn't have that when i got my hop hodge uh HD PVR. So something to record your games with, something to edit your games is always good, uh, and then some sort of mic. Some people use the uh, microphone for like uh, the iPod headphones. Seems to be working out. Um, one of the guys does that um, that I'm associated with on YouTube, and by associated with I mean friends with. And that would be Mr. Maurice TL here. So some of the other people do other different things. Um, the only thing that I'll lash, lastly I'm going to show you is you can come in here, and I don't know if a lot of people know about it, uh, but basically if you come down, there's the edit, and edit settings, um, and you can come down here and you can hit edit. Um, and in order to get these channels to show up, basically you just need to go to their channel URL. So usually I'll pull up a second tab of YouTube find out who I want to link on there, copy their their page down, put it in here, hit plus, and then hit apply. Uh, and then once it, once you've applied everything, um, then it'll start showing these up. And basically that'll, that'll kind of sum up this video. So hopefully it helped. Again, 35 subscribers. Thank you guys a lot. I can't, I can uh, say enough. I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos, so hopefully that kind of give you an idea of what you need to start your own gaming channel. And uh, remember to be unique and throw something different in there, but that's... So you got your recording device, your mic, and uh, any music or whatever you also you want to add on there. And um, good to go. So hopefully you like and subscribe to this video or my channel, and we'll keep going. Till next time, guys.